Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today, Apple released iOS 9.0.2 to the public, and we're going to compare the firmware against its predecessor, iOS 9.0.1, in everyday situations and see which one's faster to answer the question whether you should actually update to iOS 9.0.2 now or wait for something more stable like iOS 9.1. Okay, so to kick things off here, if you guys are interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S of your own, all you have to do is just rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions on how to enter my new giveaway. And with that said, let's get straight into this. First of all, I'm going to show you guys which firmware these two iPhones are on. So let's launch up the settings app here and then go inside of general followed by about. And as you can see down below for the version, we're on 9.0.1 .1 on the left and 9.0.2 .2 on the right. And these are both the brand new iPhone 6S models. As you can see on the back here, beneath the word iPhone, we do have the S indicator. This is the first time Apple has printed that indicator on an S update. And you'll also notice that we do indeed have 3D touch. So when we do push harder on these icons, we get these quick menus here. Let's go ahead and just do it one last time for Safari. So again, we do have the iPhone 6s here. These are the exact same devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network at the same battery percentage, 99% on each. And they're also the same capacity, 16 gigabytes on the left, 16 gigabytes on the right. And of course we have the newest firmware over on the right. We have its predecessor 9.0.1 .1, on the left. So let's start with the changes in 9.0.2. So essentially it states inside of the OTA update portion of the settings app that this update contains bug fixes and improvements, including fixes an issue with with the setting to turn on or off cellular data usage, resolves an issue that prevented iMessage activation for some users, resolves an issue where an iCloud backup could be interrupted after starting a manual backup, fixes an issue where the screen could incorrectly rotate when receiving notifications, and improves the stability of podcasts. If you are interested in the jailbreak aspect of 9.0.2, .2, I will have my jailbreak update linked for you guys in the cards as well as in the annotations on your screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. Now, iOS 9.0.2 .2 also corrects a lock screen vulnerability that did allow slight access to devices. So that's no longer present in 9.0.2. .2. So to kick things off here, let's go ahead and remove the iPhone 6S Plus from the middle. We're going to need it back for the last test, but for these first few, we won't necessarily need it. So starting off here, what we're going to do is just run through Geekbench. Now, for those of you who don't know, Geekbench is a very awesome tool that essentially provides a numeric representation of your computer computers or devices computing capabilities. So it does run through a number of different tests to kind of give you a generalized score that should act as a representation of your device's capabilities, basically. So let's go ahead and enter multitasking here. You'll notice that we only have Geekbench open on both of these. And on the left on 9.0.1, .1, it reports that this is indeed an iPhone 6S. That's the identifier iPhone 8 comma 1 running 9.0.1 .1, with a processor clocked at 1.85 gigahertz, the exact same clock speed over here on the right on 9.0.2 .2, and the same amount of RAM, 1.96 gigabytes, so two gigs of RAM on both of these. So let's go ahead and hit run benchmark on both of them. And we're going to see exactly what we get. Let's actually go ahead and zoom in here a little bit and kind of adjust the camera view while we're running through these tests. So it shouldn't take long to complete at all. Both of these are amazing with the new A9 CPU. Again, these tests run very fast. So we have a single core score of 2561 and a multi-core score of 4476 on the left and 2558 and a multi-core score of 4468 over here on the right. So interestingly enough, we do have a slightly lower score on the right with 9.0.2 .2 than we do with 9.0.1. .1. That's a little curious, especially considering we're going forward in iOS 9's life cycle and you would expect 9.0.2 .2 to actually run through these tests faster. We're going to actually run them one more time to see if we get something similar and to see if 9.0.2 .2 can actually pull ahead of 9.0.1 .1 this time. But remember, because these scores are so very close, you won't really notice a difference in everyday usage. And that's what I was talking about. Because they're so close, these scores can vary between test to test. As you can see, this time it looks like 9.0.2 .2 did finish slightly ahead of 9.0.1. .1. So you shouldn't really notice a performance bump one way or the other as far as 
1.0.2 is concerned. So let's go ahead and close out of it now inside of multitasking and we're going to run this next test. This is just a network speed test. We're going to hit begin test at exactly the same time. We're actually referencing the same server here and it's just going to tell us how fast our download and upload speeds are. So I'm going to speed through this here and it should finish pretty quickly. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So we did finish first on 9.0.2 here. And as you can see, we have a very high download score when compared to 9.0.1. We have 104.12 megabits per second versus 58.13 megabits per second on its predecessor. And we do have a very similar upload score of 1656 versus 1618. And now let's get into the second to the last test here. This one is pretty much a continuation of the last one. We're actually going to open up Safari and see which one of these can load these websites faster. So Safari was previously closed out of, so all we should have to do is just tap on these tabs and it will reload. So as you can see, it did load slightly faster over here on 9.0.2, and that should kind of be a trend throughout this because of those faster Wi-Fi speeds. So as you'll notice here, we did have slightly faster load times on Best Tech Info, and this should really be apparent on Evasion Jailbreak here. So we do load way ahead ahead of 9.0.1 on 9.0.2 for this site. Let's go ahead and just switch on over to Apple's website too. So you can see pretty much the same thing. Let's go ahead and tap reload one more time so you guys can see. You couldn't really tell a difference on Apple, at least not that time. So let's go ahead and switch on over to The Verge, the last website here. Now this is a pretty intensive website, so we're going to see which one loads first just by tapping on refresh at exactly the same time. And interestingly enough, they do load at the same time. Time. In fact, 9.0.1 was slightly faster, but for most websites, you should see better performance on 9.0.2 here. So let's go ahead and close out, and we're going to run this final test. This is just going to be a reboot test. We're going to turn these off at exactly the same time here, and I am going to get a power strip just so that we can ensure the successful run through of this test, and we're going to use the timer over here on my iPhone 6S Plus. So let's go ahead and zoom out now, and we're going to get Get things started. I'm going to be back once I have the power strip set up. All right, so we do have the power strip connected and I'm just going to plug the docks in. It is turned off right now and what this will do is when I actually turn on the power strip, these iPhones will reboot at exactly the same time. So plugging both of these guys in here to the same power strip just using Apple's regular power adapters, we're going to start this test. So let's go ahead and launch up the clock app here and we're going to reset our stopwatch and we're going to hit start as well as turn on the power strip at pretty Pretty much the same time here. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, in three, two, one. All right, so as you can see, we did have action first on the rose gold 9.0.2 iPhone, but let's see which one actually turns on first. All right, so as you can see, the rose gold did finish first, and it was pretty much at the same time, guys, so I had to call that one a draw. I was going to lap it here, and we were going to compare the time difference between the two if one did take an excess period of time to actually reboot over the other, but they did reboot at exactly the same time for the most part. So some pretty interesting results here. Overall, you should see some faster Wi-Fi speeds on 9.0.2 and you will not have your performance affected either way as Geekbench has proven. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you want a chance to enter win a brand new iPhone 6S of your own, all you have to do is just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. It's very simple. It doesn't take long whatsoever to do it. And then from there, you just have to download any of the sponsored applications you see on the main tab for points and once you earn points you can actually continue but the points that you accumulate can be used for some really awesome prizes in the third tab including paid apps from Apple's App Store and gift cards however for the giveaway just navigate to the fourth tab and you see that unique portion that appears in the link after the equal symbol take that and post it in the comment section of my iPhone 6s unboxing which I will have linked for you guys in the cards as well as in the annotations I really hope you guys like this video and if you want to be updated more often such as when I release similar videos covering various things ranging from iOS updates to jailbreaking. Just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.